Today I'm going to be demonstrating how uh, to get SAP Ariba to integrate in with various ERP products. We're going to be starting the demonstration today with NetSuite. And so uh, just to kind of give some context as to what the actual, you know, the full process that we'll be trying to automate uh, is represented here in this diagram with the purchase to pay process. Um, so as a new kind of request for a purchase order is created inside a guided buying, we're going to be synchronizing that purchase order back into NetSuite, and then we'll take you through the receiving process and synchronize the, the receipt of, of, uh, of that purchase order back into NetSuite. Um, the next step in the process will be uh, invoicing, and we'll step through kind of how to create that invoice inside of Ariba and watch that um, kind of post out and create a vendor bill inside a NetSuite. And then we'll close the loop with being able to pay that, that, that invoice or vendor bill inside a NetSuite and have that sync back um, to show those payments inside of SAP Ariba. The other uh, piece of this uh, solution that won't be demo demonstrated today, today but uh, to be understood is that we also have this box here to the top left where we have master data uh, such as your vendor list or your item master or your chart of accounts data that is maintained inside of the, of the ERP and then synchronized back into to, uh, SAP Ariba. Okay, our process is going to start inside of SAP uh, Ariba guided buying. Uh, before I kick off and create our first purchase order, I'm going to call out that I'm inside of NetSuite here. And as I mentioned in the intro, We've already kind of synchronized uh, vendor and an item and chart of account data. So for our demo today, we're going to be using a fictitious vendor called Indus Consulting inside of SAP Ariba. And then we will have a product that we've created called GE Care Space. And then if you look at the chart of accounts inside of NetSuite, uh, we've created a couple items for consumables consumed and raw materials. Um, so you'll be able to see that this 404000 is used uh, in our uh, demonstration. So if we go over to guided buying. I'm going to search for GE Care. And once I find that product, I'm going to add it to my cart. And I'm going to check out. I'm going to say that I need this uh, order by the 13th. And I'm going to come down here. You can see that it is tied to this GL account consumables consume 404000. I'm going to set it to cost center. And once that's all done, I'm going to submit. All right, so let's view what I can do here. All right, so we have PO85 that's been created for us. You can see here. Side of Ariba. All right, so now I'm going to hop over into NetSuite. All right, now I'm inside of NetSuite and I am going to go to transactions, purchases, and then I'm going to go see that now my PO85 does exist inside of NetSuite pending receipt. Uh, and also if I go and do a global search on PO85, you can see that it comes back for Indus Consulting, um, amount $9,202.92. You can see PO85 got brought over for Indus Consulting. Uh, for item GE care, quantity three received is zero at this point. And so now I'm ready to enter the receiving part of the process. 
All right, I am inside of uh, SAP Ariba for PO85. I'm going to receive against this PO and I'm going to accept all. So I have three items for this GE Care Space product. I'm going to submit that. Perfect. So now I'm going to hop over into NetSuite and verify that that uh, PO has been received against for those three items. Okay, so now we're back inside of NetSuite. You can see that the purchase order has been flipped to pending bill. And you can see that the quantity three has now been received against um, three items. If I go into related records for this particular um, purchase order, you can see that an item receipt has been created and, um, and we have, uh, have synchronized that receiving event inside of NetSuite. Okay, now we are inside of the SAP Ariba Business Network and you can see that uh, PO85 has been received by the vendor. I'm gonna go inside here and we're gonna actually create an invoice for this particular PO. So I'm gonna create a standard invoice. I'm gonna just give it uh, an invoice number of 2023-1109-2. Uh, I'm gonna uh, set for the purpose of this demo line level tax. I'm going to select this line item and we're going to give it a tax rate of 6%. So I'll click next. So now my invoice is ready to be submitted. I'm going to submit that. Okay, so then I'm going to verify All right, so we have now have invoice 2023 11-09-2 inside of Ariba. We're going to flip the NetSuite and we're going to verify that this invoice that was created in Ariba actually creates our vendor bill inside of NetSuite. All right, so we are inside of NetSuite and you can see that we have a brand new uh, invoice you know, that generated this vendor bill for 2023, 1109-2. So if I come in and view this bill, um, we can see that it's already in a pr uh, approved status. So it's ready for us to make a payment. You can see that uh, we have one item that was created on it for, for three. Uh, so this, this vendor bill is ready for us to make a payment. So it's going to be check number two. Uh, we are going to pay 1109-2. Uh, so I'm going to save this payment. So you can see that this, this payment number two has now been created inside of NetSuite. And we're going to verify that this payment then gets synchronized over into Ariba as the final step. Okay, as a final step, you can see that PO85 now has a payment that has come through, payment PMT30. And if I click through to that, you can see that the reference number is number two. That's what came over for NetSuite. And you can say that it, see that it was paid uh, in full for that $9,202.92.
So this is the final step. And now we have a, a complete uh, purchase order um, flow with receiving, invoicing, and payment flowing back and forth between SAP Ariba and NetSuite. Thank you.